Uh, YouTube Rando here. So this uh, is going to be an update on my little workshop area and uh, food storage update all in one. So I finally got my desk clean. Well, it's not clean. I still have to find a place to put everything, but uh, most of that stuff's going to go down in the drawer itself. I finally got a battery coming for this. I ordered one the other day. It ended up being kind of expensive. Uh, but what I found out is with the better battery, you're getting like uh, 180 hours out of this thing. So for 180 hours, I can run a monitor and a computer. So what I would do is I would just unplug the monitor and computer uh, and use it for, uh, uh, you know, charging cell phones, stuff like that. So... I got a lot of the food storage uh, bottled up. That zip ties up there. Some of it's being used. We're going through some of it. I still need to clean off all my jars and tops of cans and all that stuff, but I've got everything situated. That's a bunch of vinegar, some baking soda, cooking oil. Uh, all those are salt. All these are sugar, flour, and uh, rice. So we got quite a bit put back of all of that. And I'm not finished with this yet either. I've cut the two of the drawers out. Now I need to reinforce these uh, shelves because, uh, you know, the middle of them is kind of sagging a little bit. So I'm going to have to get some, I have some uh, sheets of uh, cabinet plywood that I'm going to make some shelves out of. And then eventually we'll make some doors so we can keep the light out of it. I uh, got an area for my number 10 cans. I've only got four right now, but we plan on filling this up all the way across with number 10 cans. Uh, that's some canned goods. Right there, some uh, oatmeal, pancake mix. There's the beans. We need to get those stored up. What we're going to do is we're going to put those in 2-liter bottles and then get them down in here somewhere, and I'll just have to find somewhere to put my can in jars. Uh, and that's mostly just dehydrated stuff, pickles, butter, all kinds of stuff down there. Canned goods aren't really situated right. We need to go through those and get them in order. <clears throat> Up here, this is a case of macaroni and a case of Vienna sausage, but behind that there's three more cases of canned goods. Uh, raviolis, baked beans, and corn. Uh, we're going to buy some more of that. There's the canned ham, and then behind that is full of canned chicken. Then here's some more canned chicken and some more behind it. Uh, that's just all spices and whatnot. Up there, we've got all the box goods. Need to go through those. This is all pancake syrup. It's actually two of those big bottles. We're going to get some more of that and uh, get some more pancake mix while we're at it. A couple cases of uh, uh, ramen noodles. The bottom's full. That top one's not full, but we went ahead and filled it up with packs of. Uh, pastas and stuff like that so and see we still got a lot of work to do but it's not too bad anyways we just wanted to update you guys I wanted to show you that I started the shelf it's not done yet but uh, it has been started I cut this this piece out and I cut this piece out so I get two liter bottles in there and I can get my gallons of uh vinegar in there eventually it's going to look nice i'm going to take it apart and uh like i said i have a uh, cabinet plywood to go on it so that's what we'll be using to replace everything then we'll sand it down and stain it all one color i'll go ahead and trim it out trim out the door so it looks nice and you know looks like it's supposed to be a uh, food storage cabinet so that's the update uh I think we're like two weeks away from our other food storage video, so that one will be out just as quick as we can get it out. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.